Borussia Dortmund's deadline of the 10th of August is only seven days away for Manchester United to sign Jadon Sancho. Now that deadline, was it a real deadline for Dortmund or were they just trying to make United act early? And will United act? What I'm going to do in this video is run through all the latest updates, what's happened in the last few days with Sancho and United and what we can expect to happen in the next seven days. Make sure you drop a like on the video. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you share it for other Reds to see the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. But let's get cracking. Let's talk about Sancho to United. Now, in my last video on Jadon Sancho, I covered all the reports that said United had a bid rejected by Dortmund. The contrasting reports that said a bid hadn't gone in. It's tit for tat. It's United and Dortmund sizing each other up over the Sancho transfer. But here are more updates. And we're starting with Raphael Hernigstein from the 31st of July. Now, Raphael really pushes the importance of the deadline and says it would be very hard for Dortmund to back down given how hard they've pushed it. And they'll lose face if they do that. So Hernigstein really sort of upping the importance of that deadline that a lot of us see as arbitrary. A 10th of August deadline means nothing. It's just Dortmund pushing United to sign Sancho early so they can get the money and do what they want to do this summer. But Raphael Hernigstein is saying it's actually quite an important thing. And if it doesn't happen by the 10th of August, and it happens after that, Dortmund lose face. So let's see what happens there. But Christian Falk over at Build, the head of sport at Build, he's had his say on the latest Sancho updates from Germany. And Christian says that Dortmund are expecting United to pay 120 million euros for Sancho, and that's gonna be paid in installments. And then if you look over at the People's Person website, as you can see up there, all the latest transfer news over there, Yvonne, the co-editor on the People's Person website, has covered all of the build update in detail and broken it down in terms of what the structure of that payment would be. And it would be 70 million euros as the upfront cash payment and the other 50 million being broken down into two payments of 30 and 20 in installments, in add-ons further down the line. Now, these sorts of deals are very normal in the modern transfer market in terms of football players. Rarely do you see a £100 million player sign for £100 million that summer. Football clubs are businesses now and they like to spread their costs over a long period of time. So for United to pay £70 million up front with 30 and 20 in add-ons would seem very normal. It's what we did with Bruno Fernandes, for example. We, we spread that payment over an upfront payment and other add-ons that you would expect Jadon Sancho to reach. And Dortmund's willingness to accept the idea of less cash up front and more in add-ons is probably based on the fact that they believe that Sancho will absolutely meet these add-ons because he's a really top quality player. And that's where this idea and these stories have come from in the last few days of United signing Sancho for a bargain 60 million. It's not 60 million, it's just 60 million up front with extra add-on. If you look at Miguel Delaney over at The Independent, he was reporting this a few days ago as well. So it's not just coming from Christian Falcon build from Germany. There's been other rumours about it as well. And I'd be very surprised anyway if United did sign somebody like Sancho for that much money up front or any club in the modern football transfer market. It's just not really how it goes anymore. Just as much as, as a swap deal is rare, signing a player for the full price up front in cash is also very rare. So this doesn't surprise me. And if anything, it it makes the transfer more likely because United would have to pay out less cash up front, spread it over the cost of a few years with the add-ons, happy days. Dortmund get their 120 overall and United get a better deal this summer up front in terms of how much cash is leaving United. Everyone wins. And as well as Christian Falk and Miguel Delaney mentioning this, Fabrizio Romano, the godfather of United transfer news, he said that United are indeed trying to stagger the payments of Sancho over the course of a few summers, a few seasons, to reduce the impact of one big major signing. So 70 million up front with 30 and 20 over two separate payments. It's a lot of money. Is Jaden Sancho worth it? You can let me know what you think about that in the comments below, but he is a player who can transform this right-hand side of United's attack. Mason Greenwood, as brilliant as his breakthrough season has been, I would regret him becoming United's just go-to guy on the right wing now from the age of 18. Not sure if that's his best position anyway, because he's so young, he's still learning, he's still developing. But that sort of pressure on someone so young, it, it can stifle their career rather than helping it and bringing someone like Jaden Sancho in to play alongside him. 
that would improve Mason Greenwood, not take away from his opportunity. That's what I think anyway. But in terms of my opinion and whether I think this transfer will happen in the next seven days, I personally don't think United will sign Sancho by next Monday. I think this is Dortmund trying to force the issue. But if Matt Judge and Ed Woodward have taught me anything over the last few years, is they won't really be pressured by what other clubs want. They'll want to do this transfer on their terms. It's why Bruno Fernandes took so long. It's one of United's biggest downfalls in the transfer market, but I do not expect United to be forced into a situation of signing Sancho earlier than they wanted to on Dortmund's terms. I think it will be the other way around. Just my opinion, but let me know what you think about that in the comments. But this is, for me, it's just Dortmund and United sizing each other up over Sancho. And I really do hope that United learn from their lessons and mistakes that we've had in previous transfer windows because I would prefer United to sign Sancho by next Monday. That's our major signing done. Dusted. Before the Premier League has started, plenty of time before the transfer window closes in October, gives us the opportunity to focus on other targets because there's key areas that still need to be improved in our club and also with players that need to leave. The Sanchez deal looks like it's going to be complicated. What's going on with Chris Smalling? I'd say we need a new centre-back. I'd say we need a new central midfielder. So to do all of that while still negotiating for Jaden Sancho would be difficult. Get the Sancho transfer out of the way early. You've got time to focus on other transfers. And I, look, I think United have acted very smartly in terms of the signings we've made in the last few transfer windows. I think there's been a massive improvement in that. And I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been key to that. But at the same time, as for this summer to be considered a successful transfer window for United, it's not just about the players we sign and the prices that we sign them at. It's, it's the level of negotiations. I don't want 24 rounds of to and from between United and another club for trying to sign a player and maybe getting a few million off. There's more value for United in signing a player quickly and clinically and efficiently than there is in just trying to get a few million off the price. It's not always just about the price. It's about how you spend your time. Time, as they say, is one of the most valuable commodities. And this summer, there isn't that much time. With everything being squeezed in, the transfer window until October, it's, it's all over the place. So if United get the Sancho deal done early, do it by that deadline next week. It's not Dortmund winning, we sign Sancho, so we win. It just gives us the time to improve as a club because we've improved in terms of the signings that we've made, but in terms of the negotiations for them, there's still work that needs to be done. And maybe Sancho can be the first one where we really just get it over the line early like other major clubs do. And we can focus on the other things that we've got to do because there's plenty of problems still inside this squad. Now, do you think that United will sign Sancho by next Monday? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And do you think 120 million over the course of... 70 million up front and 30 and 20 in the instalments. Is that a fair price for him or is it too much? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. As I said, if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you share this with other Reds. Drop a like on the video on Facebook and YouTube and subscribe to the channel if you are new. But Jaden Sancho, let me know what you think about that in the comments below.